And this project is, this is the beginning of another feature, which I'm running and directing called Blue Tears. And the inspiration for this was I, I had read about this drug lab where they had all these, a whole bunch of weird people working there, like they're normal people working in drug labs. And they had women, it was like a factory. In one area, they were naked girls. They're naked because they don't want them to steal the drugs and they were packaging cocaine. In another area, there'd be girls packaging pills. There was R&D, uh, research and development in another part of the lab where they were making uh, synthetic designer drugs. And I was thinking about all that. I was thinking, uh, what kind of person would be a chemist in a place like this? Well, you wouldn't just have an ordinary drug user. You would have to be a pretty educated, experienced, professional person who really knows his chemistry to do this job. What could lead someone to doing something like this? What would put him in that position to work in the last place in the world he probably started out to do when he began his career was work in a drug lab like this? I like fantastical, I like science fiction, I like playing with time and space and stories. And I like using that for emotional reasons as well. And in the course of thinking about that, I thought, well, what if this lab had a history? As bad as this place is now, what if it had been worse? What if it had been even worse in the past? And then I thought, I know, actually part of the inspiration for this was I know some very good actors here, African-American actors here. Houston, one in particular, Monique Lauren, and she's a very beautiful young woman, very talented. I was thinking, what if this lab had been like the Tuskegee experiment? At one point in the 60s, they were injecting African Americans with syphilis to test vaccines. I mean, a real World War II Auschwitz kind of thing. And what if this had been that place, this lab, and the ghost is still there? Yeah. And she meets this chemist, and she can save him, because he's going to lose his soul if he makes these drugs. What? And then I call the drug blue tears, because it's all very sad <laughs> and very tragic. But in the course of developing the story, at the end of the story, there's a happy ending of the sorts, where both their souls are saved and joined. And it's just a delightful little piece. And here we are shooting it in Clear Lake. We have a, a hospital, a small hospital working here, which is giving us exactly what we need. Uh, Rick Boyd has put together, uh, the producer has put together a wonderful crew. Uh, Billy McCavish is the DP, very talented. And the, what I really like is not only are they good, they're fast. Uh, that is what I'm used to in TV crew, the TV crews in Los Angeles. The crews are very, very talented, very fast, very professional. They got a lot of coverage very quickly. And this is what we're doing here. I'd like something in Hollywood. So, it's gone very well so far. In fact, I know it will go very well to the end of this, our last day. We're wrapping it up. We need a grove of trees. We ended up finding a private property for that. That rain effects out there. It was amazing we got that. Did so well. Uh, I needed extras for a sequence, series of sequences yesterday. And I thought, I really didn't think we'd get very many because, you know, it's Saturday, we're not paying anything, we're just feeding people. And the, the hospital's filled with people. <laughs> we suddenly had like, we had like 30 extras over here for two sequences. Uh, so we had a lot of people here, which was trying. Uh, for the hospital, but that we all worked it out. Jay Eddie Peck, we're very, very lucky we brought in our lead from Los Angeles. Uh, very, very fortunate because he's so experienced. We actually have worked on a couple of shows together at different times. He worked on Diagnosis Murder, he worked on Murder She Road, I worked on those shows as well, just not at the same time. So we know a lot of the same people. And uh, he really does analyzes his script, he really works on his script and really puts together his material. He does his homework. A lot of uh, actors, even professional actors, will just, ah, I'll wing it. They get up there and he just kind of wing it. He does not do that. I'm very appreciative of that. He also works very well with the other actors. And he really wants to be keyed into the story, into the characters, and, and what they're feeling too. And he's giving me so much more than I expected from just 
by any actor. And I'm very, very fortunate. And uh, Monique is doing a wonderful job. Monique Warren. She's my other lead. And uh, uh, Sarah Dawson is another actress. I think she's very good. So I'm really very fortunate. That worked out beautifully.